In this video, we're going to discuss W3 total caches object cache settings. So here on the screen, you can see that we're already starting in the W3 total cache settings area and we're in the object cache specific settings panel within that. We can see via the green text there that the object caching is currently enabled. And there's not a great deal that you need to know about this, though object caching in a more sort of general sense is definitely a more advanced style of caching in terms of the knowledge required to really get great use out of it. So hopefully we can get through this without uh, making it too confusing. So the first two options are two that we have had before and we have spoken about previously. So regarding the default lifetime of cache objects, it just sp sets the expiration date for any objects that are part of the object cache and cached on disk. So as you can see it's 180 seconds at the moment and that's probably okay for most people. It's the, sort of, it's the sort of thing that you need to play around with and find the best value for your website. Uh, the same generally applies for the garbage collection interval. It's currently set to 3600 seconds and it just dictates how often any cached data is removed, uh, assuming that it is expired of course. After the garbage collection interval is the global groups and these are only applicable if you're actually running WordPress in the multi-site configuration. So we're not doing that so we're just going to pass over that for now. The next option we have are non-persistent groups and these are groups of things that should not be cached. So we have comments, counts and plugins and you should ideally be leaving these definitely as groups that aren't cached because they're the kinds of content on your website or responsible for generating the kind of content on your website that you don't really want cached such as you know the comments that are on your website and anything that a custom plugin might output so if you're running uh, for instance Yoast's WordPress SEO plugin which we are on this site we want to make sure that whenever we make changes into that it's deployed instantly so we definitely want to keep that in the non-persistent groups if you've made any changes to this screen, you can just simply click Save All Settings and all those changes will be taken into effect immediately, but though you may be prompted to empty the various caches on your website when you do that. So that's all there really is to know about the advanced object caching options here within this W3 Total Cache plugin. If you have any questions or comments, please ask in the comment area below.